scan this crypto market give you a 20, 30, 40 X gains in this cycle? And if so, what should you be looking for? What should you be avoiding? These are some of the basic things which you are going to look at. Yes, short term is important. However, the macro is way more important. This is XRP on a weekly. And if you look at this, it shows that the price has been coiling up for last 10 years. We got big movements in between. It got extended to the upside. Now what? Welcome to the Sanvik Investor family, where the retail gets to become the next top 10% of this world. If you look at some of these charts which I posted earlier in the year, as of now, that does look like we were spot on. It's been six months for sure, but it kind of gives you where the market is headed. And if you do understand the history, a wax kind of gives you an idea last time when the price dropped to this level. On the other side, there was a lot of coins which were going up. So right now your focus, if you are looking at a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 X run up, what should you be looking at? What should you not be doing? This is one of them, which is a red flag, right? If back then I told you this is a red flag. Right now, I'm still saying the same. If you do look at the price action and the pattern, you may actually give up this. When the price here drops, you would see opportunities on the other end. We take another example. Say we pick Solana here. The price actually went up pretty decent, very good. So this is an example which you don't want to be involved in. You had a negative divergence, but the price didn't drop much. It is trying to make an ABC pattern, but as of now, it's not complete yet. Trend line support comes in some way here around 40, 45, which also happens to be the horizontal support range. So you can kind of say there is a lot of odds for this asset even if there is a short-term rally, it may come back down. Now, is it just that divergence and the trend line? No, the price structure is also valid. So Solana is showing you something like this. Fine. Then you look at another one. This is DOT. Both of them have strong fundamentals, but we're interested in the price action side of things. But remember on the same chart, VAX went back up right? It dropped 70%, but then it went back up way higher. So the first high was close to like $50, $60. The next one was like $130, $140. So the price after the drop did massive run up even from there, another 10x for sure. So same should happen here in the Solana, here in the DOT and in other assets as well. But there are assets which is not in this category, right? Yes, for sure, there are assets which kind of show you this as well. They went up like this, so you should not be writing them now. The RSI went into this, 91 on the weekly, monthly about 80. You know that, monthly about 80, ah, get out. Right? We have been saying the exact same thing for a long period of time. Now, what assets should you be looking at? Maybe I'm wrong, but look at this. Some of these assets show you it's retracing back to the trend line for sure, but the RSI on a monthly is still at 32. That's a long way to the upside. The RSI on the weekly is now getting back to the macro trend line support. You're getting close. You didn't touch that. So this is XEC on a weekly. If it's me, I would be looking at something like this. 
way it shows you it has retraced back to this trend line and it is forming a structure and it then go massive to the upside then you come to xrp xlm you know all those tokens where you can see the monthly is barely at 35 the rsi it's just building 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 and it's just starting to grind on a monthly chart xlm shows you this possibility as a trend line is developing there you take xrp on a monthly chart and again you see something same the rsi is at 47 it's better than the other two which we have seen but it's nowhere near the 75 80 mark where you should be getting out here we are there's a long way to the upside so this is just one category of assets which you should be looking at now why should you be looking at them because some of those are fundamentals just like as linda highlights here in the financial markets and especially the money terms it's kind of planned they just roll it out after a long period of time then you look at what brad is highlighting with the court case we went through that it's great it's huge it's a big win for xrp now it's just xrp but now you see whales are also doing this the movement in the market is happening the narrative for the next leg up is being set in the market it's not the short term movement we are talking about the next wave to the upside so the ether etf is kind of bringing you that attention to the market most likely july first week is going to be that speculative time so i'm looking for three four days before that to see some new renewed bullishness in the market now on the bitcoin side you're watching a lot more like the dell the michael dell on that end talking about bitcoin which kind of increases the billionaire people entering into the crypto market and keeping in mind that money doesn't look safe even in giant banks and especially in us so the purchasing power is still high and most likely it's about to go out of the banking system which would mean crypto will take in a lot why because the stock market is also bleeding very bad some of these are getting hit so hard and that's chipotle showing you it's the biggest drop since october 2022 so after two years you're now starting to see big momentum to the downside so if you're taking money out of the bank you may not like equities market right now and this is exactly where the crypto market will attract more people remember again assets like this you don't want to enter there. the one the two the three that wave structure if that's completed and has not retraced like this yet wait for such retracements if not you should have a ton of patience the optimum scenario here is to look for something which is trending higher at least on a weekly it's making higher high and a higher low this is that easy that basic but say you need more tools to use one of the easy way is to go look at any website you like but pick the return rates where you can actually look for last 30 days which of these coins have actually went sky high and if you want to avoid some look at the last one year if they have already done a 30 40 50 x in last one year then most likely you don't want to participate in those assets at least at this point now depending on whether they are in the large cap or small medium micro the upside would be different you would watch 30 40 50 x in the medium cap and they may still do another two or three x so from here your roi is lower whereas if it's something like three four five x which it has done now it can give you another 10x which is clearly possible 
right? So you need to know which area you're trying to jump into. Some assets based on your risk tolerance may give you better outlook. Say, as we were just looking at the people, the constitution, if you actually pick up the chart, you're like, okay, the price is going up. We actually watched it right higher. The market is now starting to show you a possibility of this, which means you want to see the price correcting back down to a trend line support at least, if not a little bit lower. But as a ton of whale activity is happening in the market right now, maybe watch for a reversal just at that support zone. If it does show you a reversal signal, that's huge. But say something like XDC, a medium cap payments asset with a long history, strong fundamentals, adoption, and utility. But here we are looking at the price action saying it's been trending lower from last year, July. That's July 2023. So the payment assets went up there. If you do look at the XCC side, the micro three wave structure has been completed. The corrective wave to the downside is now almost completed. So what you are looking in front of you is the segment of assets which have completed wave one is now preparing to launch for the wave two. Now, yes, for sure, most likely the large caps are not going to give you a 50x. If you're looking for those, you are in the medium cap. So if you have XRP and you say, okay, that may not give me more than 30x, okay, look for XDC if you are still looking at the payments industry. Now, if you are like, okay, 30x is huge and I'm happy with that, Perfect. But if you're looking to kind of place or position yourself well enough in the market, then not just payments. Look at the ERC-20s. There's a lot of them with high utility. Some of them, however, you should be focused on what the price action is showing you. Say here you had a clear movement in the market where the movement actually shows you the one, the two, the three, and a negative divergence. But ye, at this point, you have not completed a big drop. And we are looking at what the historical drop is. That's like 70%. So unless you see those here, it's a concern. You're following the RSI, which shows you have some more downside there. So when you are looking at ERC-20s, some of these on a macro would be doing perfect. If you are a weekly, the spot rider, you want to be in this range when it's already dropped that much and you know it's trying to find a bottom. That's where you buy for the next leg up, where the next 10x comes in. But if you are interested in something, which is an ERC20, which has dropped much more, okay, fine, go find those which have already dropped massively in this quarter. So any token which you like, you can pick and then check whether it's an ERC-20. Say engine, You, if you actually put that in, it's an ERC-20 and then it's a strong token with a long history, which is now bleeding. Look at the actual accumulation range and where it is right now. So if you put that perspective in, it's now bleeding heavy. If you put the trend line on a weekly, now we are like, okay, it's getting close to that support. If you are someone who is looking to buy an asset at the range, which is the low, the bottom, this is most likely what you are looking at. Historically speaking, the micro one, two, three like this and a wash off to the downside, is followed by something like this. So yes, you will still see this drop, price coming up, then being choppy. That's okay, isn't it? Because if you put a measurement, even as a medium to large cap asset, that's showing you a 10x. So when you look at smaller po portion of the market, medium cap, small cap, 
you are going to get that 20, 30, 40, 50 X. Some assets like these, ERC20 again, shows you historical movements are happening in front of you, right? It clearly puts the argument that a large cap asset has a different structure and a different ROI. A small cap asset is showing you almost exactly what it has done in 2021, which means the ROI can be something very reasonable. If you're happy with a 50X, whew, I mean, you should be happy with a 50X. So the market shows you those opportunities as well. Now, if you are like, I need to know more about these assets, be in the SI family, we are posting a ton of these assets, the macro outlook, whether it's a red flag or it's an opportunity, you get to see that here with 1,000 plus members, I think 1,200 plus members right now in the SI family. So guys, if you receive value, smash that like button for me. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.